This video will demonstrate how to import the 2020 Census Redistricting Data Legacy Format Summary Files and then extract familiar tables for specific data and geography. The Redistricting Data Tabulations, known as the 2020 Census Redistricting PL94-171 Data Summary File, provide population counts as well as demographic characteristics of ethnicity, race, voting age, and housing occupancy at all levels of geography. While the primary purpose of these data is for states to redraw their congressional and state legislative districts, they also tell us how many people live in each county, in each city, and in each block. The legacy format summary files are one of the many formats in which the redistricting data are released. In this video, we will demonstrate the concepts of what these files are, how they work together, and how to extract data from them using Microsoft Access. You will need to adapt these concepts to work with your database of choice. There are four resources you will need to download from the Redistricting Data Program Office webpage to access the data. First, a PDF guide, how to use Microsoft Access to extract data from the 2020 Census PL94171 Legacy Format Summary Files. This guide provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Census Bureau provided Microsoft Access database shell to import the Legacy Format Summary File data and then extract data from those files for use. Second, the Microsoft Access database shell software, which features tables and queries for the data. Third, the Prototype Data Legacy Format Summary File 2020 style. It's from the 2018 end-to-end -end census test, but it's in the same format as the 2020 redistricting data. The actual data will consist of a zip file for each state containing four text files, which are relational tables for a relational database, as seen here in the Microsoft Access database shell. The geo header, data segment 01 containing tables P1 and P2, Data Segment 02 containing tables P3, P4, and H1, and Data Segment 03 containing table P5. The MS Access database shell also includes examples of extract queries for blocks, counties, and county subdivisions. And fourth, the 2020 Census State Redistricting Data PL94-171 Summary File Technical Documentation, which contains, among other information, the summary level numbers for geographies, as well as the codes for the population and housing data. Note that large states, such as California and Texas, require a slightly different process to access the data, which will be covered later in this video. Also note that although this demo uses Microsoft Access, the process, structure, and concepts are the same across all platforms users may choose. For this demonstration, the first part of accessing the legacy format summary files is to prepare the database by importing the data into a Microsoft Access database shell. Refer to the PDF guide items A through M importing the data for this first part of the process. But first, to download all resources for importing and extracting the data, go to the Redistricting Data Program Office webpage. Scroll down and select the Redistricting Data Program Management link and then scroll down to the section Phase 3 Delivery of the 2020 Census PL94-171 Redistricting Data Files and Geographic Products. Under the heading Additional Support Materials for the Legacy Format Summary Files are the links to download the PDF Guide and the Microsoft Access Database Shell. Under the heading Prototype PL94-171 Redistricting Data Summary File are the links to download the prototype data as well as the technical documentation with summary level numbers for geographies and codes for population and housing data. We will return to the tech doc later in the data export part of the video. Please note, links to the official data will be posted on the Decennial Census PL94-171 redistricting data page once the files are published. Once all items are downloaded, you will need to unzip the prototype data and database shell files. Open the zip file of the prototype data and extract the files found inside using any software package to unzip these files. The files must be unzipped before beginning the import process. Once unzipped, navigate into the folder that contains the unzipped files. Your Windows environment must be set to show file name extensions. This can be set through the View function 
make sure the file name extensions box is checked. All prototype files with a .pl extension must be changed to .txt files. Right-click on the first file that has a .pl extension. Choose Rename and add .txt to the end of the file name. Hit Enter. Repeat for each file that has a .pl extension. Note, do not remove the extension .pl from the file name. The file type should change from PL file to text document after you add the .txt file extension to the name after .pl and hit enter. Return to the folder containing the downloaded zip files and, as with the prototype data files, unzip the Microsoft Access Database Shell zip file. In the 2020 PL Summary File Shell folder is the database shell software file as well as the PDF guide. Open the 2020 PL Summary File Shell using Microsoft Access. You'll see the placeholder tables for the Geo Header and the three data segments. You will also see three example data queries, one for blocks, one for counties, and one for county subdivisions. Click on the External Data menu, select the New Data Source option, select the From File option, and finally select Text File. Use the Browse button to navigate to the file's location and select which file you want to bring into the database. Click on the radio button next to Append a copy of the records to the table. Select the table in the pull-down menu that corresponds with the file that you're importing. Note, make sure to import the correct text file into the correct associated table. For the prototype data from the 2018 end-to-end -end test conducted in Rhode Island, you can identify each in the file name. The correct table shells and text file imports are listed in the table shown. Once everything is selected, hit the OK button. The import text wizard opens. Click the delimited radio button and then click the next button. Set the radio button selection to other and type a pipe character into the adjoining text box. To type a pipe character on a standard US keyboard, hold down the shift key and hit the backslash key. Then select the Finish button. When the import completes, users can select the option to save their import steps at this stage, but it's not required. Click the Close button to close the import wizard. You can verify that the data was imported by opening the table in the MS Access database. To open the table, double-click the table name in the table of contents. Repeat these steps for each file until the geo header and all of the data segments are loaded. When working with a large state, such as California or Texas, all four data files cannot be loaded into a single Microsoft Access database due to an MS Access file size limitation. This limitation can be overcome by creating three separate databases, each one containing the geo header and one of the three data segments. Once this is done, the procedure is the same for extracting data from the data segment in each database. After importing the data into the MS Access database shell, you will conduct queries to extract tables from the newly set up database. Continue to refer to the PDF guide items A through J extracting the data for this last section. In this demo, the 2020 PL summary file shell has the relationship between the tables needed for extracting data already established. You will need to establish your own relationships if using your own software. In addition, there are three example queries, one each for blocks, counties, and county subdivisions, or CALSUBs. To check and see that these relationships are indeed established, click on the Database Tools menu and then the Relationships button. If the relationships don't show right away, click the All Relationships button. You should see the tables with connections depicted by black lines between the common field Log Recno. To pull data from the database you just built, it's necessary to construct a query. The MS Access database shell has three example queries built in. The first pulls block data from data segment 1, the second pulls county data from data segment 2, the third pulls county subdivision data from data segment 3. To modify one of these queries, right-click on the query and select Design View. Here you can change the summary level, or sumlev, 
to change the geography and or add additional data fields you want to see on the final extracted table. This example will look at the block query. In the design view window, you will see the tables in the area at the top and then the selected fields from those tables in the fields below. To add fields to the query, double-click the desired field in the table in the top window. In this query, we selected block-level data by selecting the Summary Level field or SumLev from the GeoHeader and then setting its value to 750, the code for blocks. In addition, we are pulling data for total population from Table P1 by including the field P001-0001 from Data Segment 1. These geography and population and housing codes can be pulled from the summary level sequence and population and housing charts in the technical documentation. To view the results of your constructed query, click the View button. You should now see a table with all of the fields you had added in the design view. You can now save and close your query for future use or go back into design view to adjust what fields and summary level you want in your extract. If you want to export the table you just created, right-click on the name of the query you saved and select Export. This will provide many format options for your exported table. Note that some formats may not be compatible with the size of the table you're exporting. Data users can now follow these import and export processes to access the 2020 redistricting data from the legacy format summary files to create unique tables for specific geography and characteristics, view those tables, and export those tables into multiple formats for use in other software. And just a reminder, we've chosen Microsoft Access to demonstrate concepts and processes which users will need to adapt to their own software. By August 16, 2021, access to the 2020 redistricting data will be made available on www.census.gov slash RDO on the Decennial Census PL94-171 Redistricting Data Summary Files page. The technical documentation and legacy format support materials will also be available on this page. For questions, contact RDO at census.gov or call 301-763-4039.